Hey family, it's Auntie here, and today we are reading this book, The King of Kindergarten by Derek Barnes and Vanessa Brantley Newton. Maybe you're reading this book because you're starting kindergarten soon. Are you? Oh, that's so exciting. You're going to have a great school year. Let's read about the king of kindergarten. The morning sun blares through your window like a million brass trumpets. It sits and shines behind your head like a crown. Mommy says that today you are going to be the king of kindergarten. You use a golden brush to clean your royal chiclets. You'll wash your own face with a cloth bearing the family crest. You'll dress yourself neatly in hand-picked garments from the far-off villages of Osh and Kosh. But gosh, you'll be ready to rain. My baby is headed to school, Mommy will say during breakfast. But you're not a baby. Could a baby wolf down a tower of pancakes the way you can? I don't think so. You're growing up so fast, Daddy will say, and he'll be right. I can't say the same size forever, can I? You'll say, one day I'll be taller than you, Daddy, and you'll be my little man. Daddy will laugh, but you won't be joking. Then a big yellow carriage will deliver you to a grand fortress. What's he riding in? Yeah, the school bus. As you walk up to the towering doors, you'll remember Mama saying, hold your head high and greet everyone with a brilliant, beaming, majestic smile, for you are the king of kindergarten. Your teacher will welcome you with a warm smile and a friendly, good morning. She'll be delighted by how you recite your name with pride. When you head to your royal seat, the kids at your round table will wave and say hi, like they've been waiting on you all summer. So you smile back, return the wave, and give them a cheerful, hi, everybody. The truth is, you couldn't wait to meet your kindergarten kingdom either. He's already making friends. Your teacher will go over classroom rules, and you'll all discuss important matters such as shapes, the alphabet, and the never-ending mystery of numbers. She'll even read a book about tricks. <laughs> She'll even read a book about trucks, trains, and tractors. Phew, it sounds like a lot, but you're the king of kindergarten. Piece of cake. You will show your bravery at recess when you go up to one of your classmates and ask, Marie, do you want to play with me? Not only will she say yes, but she'll lead the way in helping you save the kingdom from the battling of fire-breathing dragon. They're playing pretend. How silly. In the cafeteria, the boy sitting next to you will be missing dessert. You'll have packed your favorite, chocolate pudding, with an extra cup just in case. So you'll say to him, want a pudding, Howie? He'll say thanks, and you won't mind at all. Because what could be cooler than sharing with your new friends? That's so nice. After a royal rest, oh, it's nap time. You'll arise to sing and dance and bop to a rhythmic beat. Wow, everybody's playing their own instruments. How fun. This day will be one you'll never forget. At the end of it, your teacher will wish you a magnificent evening and bid you farewell until dawn. On your way back home, you'll think of all the things you can't wait to tell your parents. I made a bunch of new friends. My teacher is nice and recess is the best thing ever. And tomorrow it will begin again. Another day as the charming the wonderful and the kind king of kindergarten. Wow, that was so nice. I love that. If you're headed to kindergarten or school, I hope you have a great day, just like the character in our book.
Thanks so much for coming to Storytime. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.